Mm-mm-mm. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome to the mental house with me. Your illustrious host, Khadija. Um, of course, by now everybody has seen the damn images. Shocking, gut wrenching photographs of um US Border Patrol agent on a horseback. You know, wrestling with a desperate Haitian immigrant, you know, and he's trying to get into an encampment on the banks. And the a white agent is wielding his horse long reins in an aggressive way. But it is akin to whipping. You know, he had a, uh, I mean, mm-mm, uh-uh. Now, Um, it's a very distressing snapshot and how, um, you want to expose those people, the Haitians out of the country. But if that was a boatload of Slovenians, Ukrainians, or any other European there's no way in the world you would even fix your uh, um, thought process to fail to do them like that. I don't believe that. This image is very disturbing. Um, they're going to have to come up with a, a more humane way of treating immigrants. Not this medieval type of um, insanity because the image... Is too drastic. The image is too freaking devastating, and it, the sight of it, um, uh, uh-uh. is the sight of it. It is disgusting. Now, now I know y'all still mad because of what Tucson Low Overture did. Um, and Desalene, I, I, I'm well aware. I'm also well aware that if black and brown people try to get to the shores of America or when they get to the shores of America, you got a problem with them. Okay? They got to be turned back at all costs. I don't care if you go back to, I mean, just like what's happening. Right now, with the people at the border, we gotta because they know you don't y'all don't know history. That's why you're trying to keep it out of the schools. If America hadn't done with that uh, 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 Iowa contraband stuff with Oliver North and all that, those people wouldn't be over here today. America went and tore their countries apart pretty much with war terms, selling them ammunition. Um, it's it's insane. They, they funded a war, the Sandinistas, um, and now those countries are in disarray. They're deplorable. And the people that live in those countries are coming over here because nothing but gangs and all that stuff has taken over. But America wants to wash their hands and say, oh, no, get out of here. Get out of here. And I'm not saying whether you agree with immigration or not. My point is, this ain't even your land for real, for real. You don't even, you ran the Native American off and you got the nerve to be, listen, listen. It's despicable what is happening. Now, we're going to have to do this in a humane way. Obviously, if you feel that they can't come over here. Okay, and if you feel like there's no no room, then the fact of the matter is, um, you're gonna have to figure out a way to do that in a humane way, and that means, um, I I I can't um fathom. I cannot fathom 
y'all feeling like you can let those Afghan immigrants come over here, the ones that you don't even know if they terrorists or not, but you didn't already let them on the plane. That's another video. I'll do that later. You already signed a bill on Tuesday to give, what, some six-something billion dollars to all these immigrant uh, Afghan refugees? You kicked black people off or uh, Adolf's off of safety net program saying that they were bums and now you're letting a whole group of people over here that you have been over there for 20 years you shouldn't have been over there in the first place and they the heart of what you say terrorism is and so now you get ready to take care of them and bring them over here yet and still you won't even discuss reparations for black people after you stole our relatives. Some of this is not even so far removed. Some of y'all, um, you know, want to think that that's critical uh, race theory has got to do with slavery and things like that. No, 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 no. It's modern history. This is modern history when you've still been stealing um, land from our ancestors that you don't want to give back. The land that you, you stole um, that we had. You didn't have to give us 40 acres and a mule. Some of us had got land, accumulated it, but you stole it all back. Just like you burnt down Black Wall Street. And you don't want to address that and the things that you've done. And now you think that we can sit here and watch you allow another group of people to come over here and be a, and exploit us. But you're running the Haitian immigrants back with whips or whatever those things are that look like, I hope it wasn't a whip. Because, you know, maybe I hope my eyes are betraying me. Because this is insane. And let me just say this. Let me just read this article. Um, and this was on a Piers Morgan. It's a truly shocking, gut-wrenching photograph. A furious mountain U.S. Border Patrol agent on a horseback with a desperate Haitian immigrant trying to get into an encampment on the banks of the Rio Grande in Del Rio, Texas. While the white agent is wielding his horse along the reins, that's a quarter horse too. That, that's a, oh, never mind. The white agent is wielding his horse's long reins in an aggressive way that some believe is akin to whipping of the black immigrant. <laughs> Conjuring up vile memories of the horrific days of American slavery. But the agents involved later angrily denied this, saying that anyone with two brain cells would know they were using their split reins to control their horses in the melee. Either way, it is deeply distressing and the snapshot is very disturbing. And of a major new immigration crisis on the southern border. Nobody was more appalled than President Biden, whose press secretary, Jim Psaki, described the footage as horrific, horrible, and devastating to watch. The migrant, including clutched bags of food, is one of many thousands of refugees who sought asylum in America since Haiti was thrown into turmoil by the assassination of his president, uh, and that was in July, and a massive earthquake that followed in August. At least 15,000 have gathered at the Dio Del Rio camp. Man. I don't know how many of y'all are old enough to remember when, I think it was like 75, 76 maybe, Fidel Castro sent all those Cubans to Florida. And they parlayed up under the um, freeway, up under the overpass. A lot of them were adopted out. A lot of them went to people's homes um, as an exchange. And because Fidel Castro was so ruthless, what he did was emptied out his jails and his mental asylums and sent them people over here as well. 
probably sent, and I believe he sent more of them. <laughs> so when they start going to these exchange people home, they start killing the family members, doing all kinds of crazy um, crimes. Look, I remember it. I remember it. Um, this is the reason why they want to shut down information. Because they don't want you to be able to connect the dots. Now, if the Haitians can't come over here and we can't figure out nothing, because I, I, I get it. I get it. However, we're going to have to do better than this. And and, and unless we willing to do right and not even have the semblance of past of the past, even in its imagery, then we're not going to be successful um, with anything we try to do in the future. Because this looks very dark. And um, I don't like what it conjures up inside of me. And nobody else likes it either. Uh, wow. I'll be back with another video.